Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, a risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not investment advice. So this video is another uh, reading chart, how to read candlestick chart, how to analyze candlestick charts, yes, and uh, understanding candlestick charts uh, video series where I gonna explain and show you how I have done already those kind of trades which are based on uh, on the support and resistance stuff in combination of uh, price action and those concepts which I have explained in my ebook. So get this ebook, it's for free, you find the link in the description. This ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern, chart pattern and binary option, turbo trading concepts, market condition, trend identification, rejection and candlestick mass and a lot of more concepts which can be applied to any kind of time frame, any kind of financial instrument and any kind of broker. So get this ebook, it's for free, you find the link in the description and in the description you will find also the link to the Facebook group. So. Okay, let's see what I, let's, let's start immediately. You see the assets are closed. The market is closed for another uh, eight hours. Yes. And I use this time to do those kind of, um, how to analyze and how to read candlestick charts. Yes. Videos. And I have prepared this kind of video, which because it's really particular because we have here really bad market. This is ranging market based uh, as yes, ranging market and not only ranging because you see here is the ranging area that is the ranging area and it's not only ranging it's also here you see a nice support and resistance level because here we have uh, resist support here we have resistance yes and resistance resistance and resistance and resistance yes not only that we are ranging we have here also a lot of wicks those wicks are really dangerous yes they can be trapped uh, you in the wrong direction really easy and um, so you have to be careful about how you enter and why you enter. And I will explain you what I have done here. Yes, you see here, nice area. This is a nice area to trade and uh, reverse the trades. Yes, so in those kind of market conditions, you should always trade or below or above all EMAs or at the edges of the Bollinger Bands or one deviation Bollinger Band like here or the two deviation like here, yes, that is how you should trade in this kind of ranging market. So, okay, uh, those one who are following me my videos over and over again, they know this. So, um, let's start. As soon as there will be a trade, I will stop the video and explain exactly what I have done and why I have done this. So, let's see what's happening here. So we are getting here some kind of uh, engulfing candle close to the 20 EMA, the yellow one, for those one who do not know this. And uh, yes, we get an engulfing candle. I try to get a, big, a bigger picture, yes, a big picture of this uh, market because it's really, uh, yes, so many wicks are really disturbing to be honest, yes. And uh, now we are getting here some kind of engulfing candle and price is moving really erratic. So I'm drawing another support and resistance level based almost on the change of polarity. Uh, watch those videos. Okay, and I'm doing here a call because I understood from the rejection from the 20 EMA and that ranging market that price will retrace back in this kind of market condition. Yes, and I entered here into a call. This kind of call I would not have done, yes, if we would have been in a trendy market, yes, because uh, that would be really dangerous doing a call against a, a engulfing candle, yes, uh, after a reversal from the one deviation would be not a good idea, but in this kind of ranging market, and the overall trend is still up. Yes, you see here the 200, the 100, the 50, and the 20 are all heading up. Yes, so there is still an uptrend, but uh, this could be only done in this kind of ranging market, else this would have been most probably out of the money. So, uh, this candle, let me see how this candle will close. Okay, this close exactly on the next support and resistance level. You see here, you see here the change of polarity, here support, resist, the resistance, support, 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 yes. And here again, we have another uh, resistance and that was maybe the reason, yes, after price is moving down that I would enter most probably into a put here. I would enter here into a put, but I'm not doing anything. I don't know why. Okay, I was not sure in this kind of condition, yes, 
but I would have done most probably a put there yes, because of the support and resistance level and the reversal here from the one deviation Bollinger Band. So let's see what's happening here. Let me see what this kind of candle will finish. Maybe a doji, I don't know. No, we are getting down. Yes, and that is looking nice. That looks like my no rejection trading setup, yes. And uh, yes, and it's moving also down. I don't know what I will, I, I'm waiting. Yes, now I'm pushing. Yes, I, I'm with the mouse above the lower button and then I push in this kind of no rejection trading setup after the price was above the closing price of the previous candle into a put, into a trend continuation. Um, yes, and that is against this kind of 20 EMA and the 50 EMA, but only because there was a, um, a reversal at the one deviation and in the past, not far away, we got already price action on the left, so that this kind of area will most probably not so strong, yes. And because you see here again, that what I have explained also in the last video, the crossing of the 20 SMA or the middle Bollinger Band with the 20 EMA over and over again, which are indicating that we have here ranging markets. So, that was also in the money, and then I decided to do what? Maybe a call. Yes, I would enter here into a call, but I'm drawing some kind of line. You see here again, the change of polarity where I place this kind of line here. Here we have support, here we have resistance, yes. And now we broke up, so this will act as resistance. And I don't know why I'm not entering in this kind of trade. I have no idea. Uh, that was a nice call. But I didn't enter there, I don't know why. Yes, I don't know why I have not done this. Because it was a nice call, because it was here finishing, this candle finishing on the support level. And that would be, have been a nice call. But nevertheless, I was waiting. Yes, okay, this market obviously is dangerous, yes. And uh, you should be really aware about this kind of market condition. So, and then I entered into a call because then I understood that was a fake breakout. And uh, because we got here in the past already such kind of behavior around the 100 EMA. And here I told you in ranging market, try to trade or the um, reversals at the Bollinger Band, yes, or the reversals at the um, two deviation or one deviation. And that is what I have done here. Market uh, is gone completely against me. Got uh, It's touched the support and resistance level, crossed already the support and, and that trade looked really bad. Yes, it looked really bad, but uh, this got, got at the end, it got in the money. Yes, because the direction was right. This was a fake breakout and this 100 EMA was acting or is acting as resistance, uh, as support. And that's the reason why this got in the money in the last second, as you see, uh, really scary. Okay, so that was already. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have um, some questions or anything to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye-bye.